So today we're going to be looking at how to craft or grind the 81 plus Brazil, Portugal, France or Netherlands double upgrade. I This basically method would work the same as doing the Premier League, La Liga, Liga. But we're not going to do that today. Use the same idea behind it while doing this. Reason why we're doing this is because you've got a chance of packing an icon in these, whereas the league ones are obviously just the special cards in. So you want to add this one, bronze, silver, and gold upgrades to your favorites. You don't have to do that. You just press Y or triangle on the SPC you want to add to favorites. It adds it in. So to have a look at the requirements we need for this, we need to have three France or Netherlands players, three Brazilian or Portugal, all gold rare. So let me just go and make this SPC quickly. So as you can see, the SBC is completed. We have got ourselves the three Brazilians and then three French players, or two French players and one Dutch. If you're going to buy these cards, and I'll cover this at the end of the video or closer to the end, buy Netherlands, don't buy French, because league and French players are the requirement. But you can use Libertador as long as they're 75 and above, you see here. So let's send this in and open up the pack. If you don't get two good players, at least you get two nations back that are going to help you with the SBC to get at least two of the requirements done. This is going to be a very long process if you don't have coins. This is because EA have not given us League SBC. So as we see here, we don't even get ourselves any boards or anything. We get ourselves a Brazilian back. Looks like the guy that I've already put in, Gabriel Paulista. So we've got ourselves a Brazilian and a Portuguese. Obviously, that's going to help us towards our requirements. So we've managed to tick off two there. We only have to get one more Brazilian. And we need to get ourselves a couple French and Netherlands players. So let's have a look again. So what you want to do is, with the pack we just opened... Is go and add those two in so you're on your way. So basically go to gold rare, set this to newest, and then you can see here Brazilian and Portuguese. So now that we have got ourselves underway, we still need to get ourselves some gold rares. So with the SBCs that come out on Black Friday, at the moment we have none. When content comes out at 6 p.m. UK time, we should get some more things. Plus 10 coin packs in the store. Make sure you open those. And we want to have a look what anything else is available. So right now there's not much out. So what you want to do is here... At this minute in time, we are getting a lot of Icon SPCs. Icon SPCs do rise the price up of Bronze Rares. So we are going to check here. Bronze Rares are all instant sell for 250 right now. 300 coins all together. And they're still instant sell, as you can see. So what this means is you can do Bronze Pack Method to basically make your coins while packing things to do upgrades. It is going to be a long process, I will add. And it's very important you copy and repeat the same method I do for it to work. So you're going to open up a bronze pack, as of course. Get yourself a rare if you can. There's not guaranteed rares in every pack. You're going to hope you get yourself a major nation. For example, this French guy, he actually sells for the price of around 300 coins by the looks of it. We'll double check just to make sure. So that's 300. We only need to sell or discard 450 coins worth of more things. With this rare left back, to see how much he goes for. A lot of cards are price fixed, so you want to go to the end. So that's going to be 600 there altogether. And then if you discard everything else that we can see on our list, that gives us 687. So we could either sell one of these cards if any of them are worth anything that doesn't look like it, or we can keep them. So basically two bronze players to buy off the market is going to cost you 300 coins at a minimum, 150 bid each. So we've managed to basically get ourselves two bronze cards for around 50, 60 coins. And you're going to keep repeating this process until you spent about 10,000 coins altogether. So you can see here, we've got ourselves an MLS at left mid, who is rare. So that's going to be at least 300 coins back, maybe more. Let me double check his price. So 300 coins for that guy. We have also got ourselves a major league, so top five leagues and top nine nations. And he currently goes for, as you can see here, around a thousand coins. So we're going to make profit on this pack. And that's also made profit on our first pack as well. So we haven't made a loss. We can discard everything else. And doesn't matter if these cards are worth anything or not. We'll double check anyway. If these two cards that you have left over are worth something, of course, sell them. But if not, keep them. So for argument's sake, we'll keep them. So we have got ourselves four bronze cards here for spending absolutely no coins. Because of what we sold, we're going to get our coins back. Again, we've got ourselves another rare. Very lucky. Like I said, you're not going to get a rare in every pack. There will be times where you get three rares and there'll be time where you get none. So we know we've made money on this pack no matter what because they sell for 300 minimum. So again, 300 for this one. We've got ourselves a Canadian center mid from the MLS. Does he go for anything? Looks like he's 300, so that's 600 there. And then we have our English cam. Does he go for much? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like he goes for about 500. So we've made, again, profit on this pack, about 400 coins. We can discard everything else. Unfortunately, we didn't get any cards to keep, but it's not a problem. And if you're wondering to yourself why rares are going up so much, 
The World Cup and Black Friday is finally here. Go to Alt Night, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy. Select your payment method and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. Every purchase has a chance to win $10. I'll explain in a second as we just open up one more. I want to get, there we go. So we got no rares. I just wanted to show you that you do not get rares all the time. Some of these might be worth something, most likely not. What you want to do is, again, keep all cards. So we took a bit of a loss on this pack, so we're probably making a little bit of profit now altogether and nothing else. So say you've done that for about half an hour. You've opened up 10,000 coins worth. You've now got yourself a lot of bronze commons. If you don't sell the bronze rares and you don't want to sell the bronze rares, the best trick and advice I can give you is going to the icon tab and basically completing every single one of these icons at the start. So you can see here, 11 bronze rares. It gives you back a two rare gold pack. That is tradable. You can pack special cards in here. You can pack cards that are worth a lot of coins. If not, you've got yourself two gold, two gold rare cards that you can do the SBC. If you manage to hit yourself a Brazil or a France or a Netherlands or a Portuguese player or even better, a Ligue 1 player, you are laughing. And then Eto has small election players pack. So we're just going to complete this quickly just to show you what we get back from this. So again, we have got Libertadores in. If you've got them between the rating of 65 to 74, they count as silver rares. I will show you how to get silver rares without having to buy them off the market. That is going to be the next step. But just to show you what we get out of this pack, and it is tradable. You see here we get three gold, three rare, only one rare, unfortunately. But we have got ourselves a gold rare, and let's see what we get. A Brazilian, so there you go, and a left mid. It's going to be Martinelli. You have yourself two choices here. Because he is Brazilian, you can keep hold of him. Because he's a double requirement, he is worth a little bit of coins. But because he's not worth a crazy amount, we're going to keep him. You can then check if any of these cards are worth anything and sell them to then open up more bronze packs in the future. So he is going to be 700 minimum, which is just short of one bronze pack we can get. I don't think these cards are going to be worth anything. But then again, you never know. So he's 300. So it's going to be 1,000 coins we got back. And then our French right mid is also about 600. So we've made quite a bit of coins off this pack alone. And we didn't pack anything particularly crazy in this. And we can keep the rest for another SBC or anything like that. So say you've done all the bronze packs. You've opened up all of the bronze rares on every single icon one is available. You're now like, okay, what is the next step? So the next step for you is going to be in upgrades, where the upgrade tab is you want to add in this silver upgrade into your favorites. Reason being is... When you've completed this with the bronze commons, so you want to put in all the bronze commons you've got from the bronze packs into this SBC. You don't need chemistry. You get yourself a two-player silver pack back, one being rare silver, one being a common. Put all the rare silvers into the icon that I just showed you. All of your common silvers are going to go into this SBC here. They are going to give you back three gold commons. You're going to have to complete this one four times to be able to get the rare. Like I mentioned, it's a long process. I'm hoping at 6 p.m. UK time, EA give us maybe a league SPC or something else to grind which will be able to be updated and I will bring that video out updating the situation on how to do that but let's just say you've done all of this you've got yourself a load of gold commons now we're going to put all of these gold commons in that we've got of course yours will be all untradeable and you won't be able to sell them so you haven't got to worry about that and once you put them all in you can see what we get back so you're looking to basically get yourself either a Premier League or one of the league ones, or of course the four nations that we need to be able to tick it off. This is the problem with this grind, is without coins, it is a long method. With coins, I'll show you the best way to do it in a second. So you're going to open the pack. If you get yourself a Premier League player, what I recommend doing is, let's say, let's see what we get out of this first. So we got ourselves a league one. So we got ourselves a French league one. So he actually helps us with the SBC we need, which is fantastic. But let's say, hypothetically, you did it, and you only got yourself major leagues and none of the nations you need. That is why we are going to add in the other SBC that came out because, as you have a look here, wherever I find it, you need to have X amount of players from the league. So we need to have three Prem, three La Liga, three League Un, all gold rare again. So let's say with Martinelli that we packed earlier on in the video, we didn't want to use him for the bronze, or we have already got him duplicate. You can then go through the league. So Premier League, we need three of. We've got three players here. Obviously, try and use the nations you don't need for the other one, unless they're duplicate, like I mentioned. Ligon being three rare as well. There is our Fofana, but I don't want to put any 83s in, and of course, I have a loan. And the last one is going to be La Liga. So again, these are all quite high rated, so I won't do it. But you should have these things in your club from grinding over. Once you complete this SBC, you have a very high chance of hitting a Netherlands player, a French player, a Brazilian player, etc. 
That is now the low budget covered. Here is the high budget, guys, and here's what you want to do. So you basically don't want to do bronze pack method. Like even though I think it's good coins, I don't recommend doing it. So you want to go and do this SBC. You want to keep all Libertadores and all gold rares that you have. So let's say for right now, we'll have a look at our gold rares. What we have is we've got enough. So another Brazilian. So put all these in. Imagine you have nothing in your club now. You don't have anything like that to help you. And what are we missing here? We're missing one French player and then the rest. So don't buy the French players, as I've mentioned, because they're double requirement on league. And just to show you here, they are already at the price of around 1,100 at 10 minutes. We'll double check if they go a little bit lower. They're at instant sell. So they're instant sell at 950 all French. So what I would recommend doing, because they seem to be cheaper at this moment, is Netherlands. So you see here, 950, they're going to not sell at all. So with that in mind, you want to go and buy the three Netherlands players or how many you need for 750. It makes it a hell of a lot cheaper. And that's how you do the French and Netherlands. And now we're going to have a look what's more cheaper, the Portuguese or the Brazilian. I'd imagine it could be Portuguese. So Brazilians are instant sell at 750. They're about 900 coins, whereas Portuguese is coming in at around 900 as well. So they're about the same price. It looks like Portuguese is a little bit cheaper. As you can see here, you can snipe them for 800. So you want to buy Portuguese. And then you want to buy Netherlands. You don't want to buy Brazil or France, essentially, unless you have them in your club. So that's the best way to do it. You're going to want to buy as many as you can. And you're going to have to recycle what you get back that's not very good. Just like we did in this video already. The pack we opened up at the start it wasn't the greatest. We didn't get anything that's going to help us out massively. So we put them back in, being Gay Ralph Alista and so whatever the other card was. And then you want to open it up, of course. If you can get yourself the gold rares by doing the commons into the gold rare upgrade that I've mentioned, that's going to keep the price down. If you are starting to lose a lot of coins, please look at Bronze Pack Method. You just see me making coins there. So we open up our next one. We don't get a boards again. But what do we get? We get ourselves a Portuguese goalkeeper and hopefully a French player and two Portuguese. So that means we're going to have to buy three more Netherlands and then one more Brazilian or, Netherlands or Portuguese player. Sorry to keep that cheapest. They're the two silvers that we sold from the pack we got from completing a bit of Eto. The rares have all sold for 300 each. We are waiting for these cards to sell, but no doubt in my mind they will. And as always, if you have any questions, comment down below. It's going to be a long process, as I've mentioned, but it's going to be one worth it. Let me know if you managed to pack an icon from these. I'm interested to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you.